getting distracted so I'm gonna start singing but anyway if you don't know me my name is Juliana and if you do know me that's probably why you're watching this video that's probably why and this is going to be the first video on my channel because I was thinking of doing like an about me or 21 questions or something like that but it's a little generic but I might do it anyway so I'm gonna give you a summary of what my channel is going to be about and a summary of just what this video is gonna be about so I want my channel to be kind of like I don't know just like an open free funny serious tea but not drama tea because I don't have I don't have that and I don't want it but I don't know just a channel that's not like specifically about anything just like random shit just entertainment you know I feel like you can really relate to people over social media these days so this video is going to be about kind of tea but not really so i posted on my snapchat and my instagram talking about what type of questions you have ever had to ask a girl that you didn't really have the balls to ask and then for females i kind of just tell me whatever ask me whatever so we have a mix of like some serious stuff and some you know you know my cup is sweating really bad it's hot in this room Let's see if it's red okay so <laughs> i can't wait to answer these questions so on my snapchat i did that little yolo thing because you know some people want to ask stuff and they embarrass so that's fine and then also some people like asking questions not on there like through chat and i wrote them down so let's do this i'm going to start hmm, i don't know where to start let's see i guess i'll start with this one the first question is how do you walk away from someone who you know isn't for you that doesn't fit your future when the bad outweighs the good this honestly whoever you type this to me thank you because this is my favorite question honestly it's all about being strong i'm gonna tell you that right now even you could love somebody to death you can but it doesn't mean that they're for you and you just have to really figure out when enough is enough and that you're tired of their shit and that you know like some people they just come for a little bit and you have to love them for just that short period of time and it sucks honestly especially when you love someone and you don't want to leave them but you know like this ain't it like i really don't want this but anyway yeah like i was saying it's all about strength especially when the bad outweighs the good it's like when you are trying to leave someone you always think of all of the good stuff all of the fun all of the memories and like you try and make up for the bad shit by like oh well this is really good and that's really good and da 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 when really it still in reality doesn't outweigh the good i'm actually a psych major and i learned about that in class Matter of fact, I'm going to tell you what it's called. I have my notes right here because we save paper. Okay, we save paper. Um, anyway, let's see. So basically, we have this need feel good about ourselves obviously we're humans we want to make don't you dare 
we want to feel good about ourselves and this is in the decisions jesus that we make for instance leaving this person or staying with them whatever decision you decide to make eventually over time you make even more not make even more but you come up with more excuses as to why that decision was the best decision for your circumstances or whatever but yeah you really have to be strong and only you can say you know enough is enough and the longer that you're with that person the longer it's gonna take for you to heal when you leave and the longer you're gonna be upset it's like the sooner you leave the happier you'll be sooner i'm not saying overnight i mean shit if you if you like that you might be but yeah what's the best idea for a first date i'm gonna tell you the worst idea the worst idea is the movies i think i think that the movies for a first date idea is the worst idea ever because first of all i don't know i just think it's lame because if i don't know you like i really don't know you and i've never really like hung out with you in person and we go to the movies what do you do at the movies you like this eating your popcorn quiet you guys aren't talking you're not interacting you don't even really get a feel for that person so best idea for a first date in my opinion would be something like fun but it has to match like you know your vibe like you're not gonna go hiking if this person wants to i don't know sit or whatever you know you know what i'm trying to say you know what i mean but yeah i don't know even dinner dinner is dinner is a hard one for me because i anybody that knows me i have strange things that bother me people chewing loudly people banging their fork on the plate loud people when there's nothing left like that stresses me out but i would say do something fun do something that's like you know you get a little flirty like an arcade and dinner or i don't know the zoo maybe not the zoo because like the whole animals in captivity thing i don't really know about but i do <sighs> it's so fun but so bad <sighs> but yeah i don't know something fun When kids are screaming, crying in public, and the parents don't care, and you just want to yell at the parents to shut their kid up. <sighs> I feel that. Honestly, that low-key is embarrassing, but some kids, like small children, they don't know how to communicate what they want, and they're just gonna sit there and flip the fuck out. And you just have to, you know, let their parents do their thing. But sometimes, sometimes it's really, some parents can't really handle their children it's just like you kind of have to deal with it it's annoying as hell because you want to be like listen little jimmy get the fuck up sit your ass in the carriage and stop also side note that's another thing when your kid's like seven and you're pushing them in the stroller tell your kid to get the fuck up and walk not like that but really his feet are dragging on the ground you're gonna break his ankles stop okay when a girl's on her period do y'all want food space or attention first of all we want all three but not in that order we want food attention and then space and then attention and then food and it just goes in a cycle it just doesn't stop as long as you're on your period that that does not stop so write that down and that's what you gotta do this one's a little longer so if you're sensitive please click out why do girls say oh my god why do girls say come with me please daddy during sex knowing damn well that they're not on birth control or don't want kids i have the same reason y'all do it how about that? How's that for an answer? Heat of the moment. You're just like, woo! Just do it, kid. 
guys will be fine. And then after you're like, oh, that's a fucking terrible idea. Exactly. He is a moment. And y'all agree to it, so boobity boobity boop. <sighs> what that mouth do? Eat and talk shit. Male asked me this question. Why do females think it's okay to respond one day, go ghost, and then respond when they want to like it's a game? Because that's exactly what it is. It's a fucking game. That honestly, that's what annoys me about the whole talking, dating, I'm mad at you, I'm not mad, I want attention type bullshit because people cannot be upfront. That's all it is. Or, or... Or she wants to know if, you know, you're going to be like, she's not texting me, I'm going to chase her. You know what I mean? Like, that's, it's one of those two things. Either she don't want to tell you to leave her the fuck alone, and then a couple days later she's lonely, and now she wants your attention. Or she's like, hmm, I'm not going to answer him just to see if he wants to talk to me. Because if both of y'all let it be known exactly what you want, you wouldn't have to worry about that. But that's exactly what it is. It's a game. And if somebody's doing that to you, I am so sorry. You need to fucking tell her or him or whoever, alien, I don't care, to speak the fuck up. And don't play into that bullshit. If it just goes back and forth, like, I don't have the time, like, oh, 7.42. I have to wait 24 minutes to answer back so he doesn't think I'm needy. No. If I want to talk to you, I'm on that ass. Double text, triple text, call, FaceTime, hang up, text again. Okay? Period. Should I worry about personality or dick game? Well then, uh, let's see. Personality or dick game? Damn. Well, if you think about it, depending on, you know. Well, if you think about it, depending on, you know, how you move, whatever. Uh. Personality comes first. Because, you know, you can teach some tricks. There's help out there if it's that bad. <laughs> if it's that bad. I'm saying, but if it's like, like no fixing it, I mean, I don't know. You gotta at least try before you're like, Bye, because then you know it's a little shallow. You know, some people need the experience and you just might have to be the guinea pig. You love them, you know? And then you'll thank yourself later and then they'll probably leave you and use whatever you taught them on somebody else. So personality. <laughs> Let them already be about it, okay? <sighs> Do y'all care about dick size or y'all only care about how good y'all get <laughs> well i don't know some people be having fetishes that like they just want okay all of us have been to the store you know the store okay um where there's that like i don't even know it's like hundred thousand not a hundred thousand but like hundreds or a thousand dollars for this massive this massive peen it's like this big and like this like i don't know if you can use it but you know there's some people out there that do like that torture um if that's what you like then that's what you like but as far as girls are concerned i really feel like unless they have like a fetish or something like that that the whole size thing oh, like, he gotta have this huge donkey dinosaur whale horse combined norwal horn ass penis or i'm i don't want it like um, ma'am first of all ow secondly i don't know but i'm just saying if it's you know, it's all about how it works, I guess. Not I guess. That is true. It doesn't matter if it's huge or 
not like not gonna say like this because this i don't know but if it's smaller and they know what they're doing then who cares you're the only one that sees it he's the only one that sees it and if it makes you happy it makes you happy okay all right now i gotta go to the runs the runs <laughs> the ones that i wrote Let us see, let us see, let us see, let us see. Can you gauge me with your <coughs> I don't know if it was supposed to be gauge or gag, but sometimes girls want to ask you that. So if you're looking at a girl and you're wondering what she's thinking, it's probably that if she likes you. Do girls masturbate more than me? Well, sir, how much do you masturbate? During times like these when we're stuck inside? Probably. Maybe you should, like, text somebody and have a competition and see. But don't lie, though. Don't lie. Gotta be honest, okay? How do you tell a girl for vag smells? I'm gonna say this right now, okay? If you tell a girl politely that, you know, it's not smelling healthy, down there and that's what you should say to her okay that it's not smelling healthy um and she gets like really mad and defensive and excuse me do you want me to pick you up or not whatever then fine nope i'm not picking you up bye and she gets like really defensive over it she death knew she knew okay because if somebody told me that i would be horrified I'd be horrified. And you know what? If you out here smell like how you smell and you know it's not okay and then somebody tells you to help you and you get mad, you're awful. That's awful. I would be embarrassed. I would be embarrassed walking around knowing I smell like that. Just to, just to see, like, hmm, maybe they won't know. No. They gonna notice, okay? And also another thing is is all girls have their own smell but if it is smelling foul or like dead fish or the colors are off down there okay something is wrong and you need to stay away but how would i like to be told if that was me i would i feel like regardless like if she really don't know or whatever she would probably be a little embarrassed. But I feel like if you really care about her and you don't want to hurt her feelings, you say, hey, um, you don't have to be embarrassed or upset, but, you know, I don't think everything is healthy down there. And I think that, you know, maybe you should go get checked. Because, you know, most of the time, like a yeast infection or like a UTI, whatever, it makes things, you know, a little funky. And you could tell her, like, you know, that it happens, it's fine. But before we do anything, you should go get checked for your safety and for mine if we think about doing this again. Now, however, if you don't care about her feelings, which you should... You should tell her, ma'am, I'm sorry, but I'm not doing this because you stink down there. Okay. And yeah. Your female is like having sex on the first date. Well, it's whatever, whatever floats her boat, I guess. I mean,. Everybody's different. Some people are just down with the get down. They don't care. Me personally, I don't need all types of different energies in my body. Okay. I have enough of my own off the wall fucking energies. I'm this, this day, that, that day. I don't need anybody else's that I'm unfamiliar with. No, thank you. But I mean, some of them might because some girls, they just want to. They want to know what it's about. They don't want to waste no time. They want to know what you can do. It's like kind of like a job interview. Like you don't have a resume. So it's kind of like, 
you know, it's like one of those job interviews and they have you do <laughs> get the job a little bit to see if you're good at it. It's kind of like that. Why are some women all bark and no bite? Meaning like, they're like, oh, I want a guy to do X, Y, Z, take care of me. Um, I don't know, rub my back and scratch the bottom of my foot, X, blah, 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 whatever. And then when a guy's like, I can do that for you. They're like, oh, no, no, I don't want it. Because honestly, like, I don't know. It's kind of just like that sometimes. Like, you could just be like, I want A through Z. And then the guy's like, here, here is A through Z and up to a thousand. And you're like, well, enough of you. Which, like, I don't know. It could just be like that sometimes, like. Somebody could have everything to offer and if you guys just don't vibe or that's not the person that you want it from, even though you know, like, I don't know, maybe potentially, I can't talk, potentially that person could be your little forever, but you're like a little shallow or you don't want to like date them or, I don't know, I also feel like it's like, a commitment issue low-key because if i don't know i mean you could bring a horse to water but you can't make them drink it type deal you know because a girl could be offered everything that she needs and has been looking for but if she's not ready for that type of commitment because another thing is is like if somebody has everything like 99.9% .9 of everything that you want and you're not ready for that commitment because you know like i don't know me personally if anybody had everything that i wanted and i'm not ready to commit i'm gonna be like well i don't want you because i'm not ready to be committed because most of the time if somebody really got it like that and you're attracted to it you're gonna be down and you're gonna like that if that's your end goal you're gonna want it for forever and if you're not ready for that forever, you're not gonna go after that person. You're gonna fuck your own path up. Trying to be a hoe or something, I don't know. But yeah, that is all for this video. So if y'all have some ideas, because I am quarantined in the fucking house, I am honestly going crazy. Low key, I'm laughing, but honestly, I'm, this shit is bothering me, okay? All my classes are online. I don't have work next week. That'll be two weeks that I'm out of work and I'm just in the house being a stay at home dog mom student ass bitch. Okay, so if you guys have ideas of videos that you want or I don't know, things you want me to talk about, questions you want to ask me, etc., etc., let me know. Okay, for all of you who participated, y'all are real ones, okay? I appreciate you. I was, I'm happy, honestly, I am. And this was entertaining as hell. And I hope you enjoyed this and my bullshit shenanigans, unprofessional, first time ass YouTube video <laughs> that I'm gonna edit on my iPad Pro, okay? Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you share it, like it comment on it but don't be fucking rude okay that's one thing i'm gonna tell you right now if for some reason i just continue youtube and like that's my shit or whatever don't be commenting on my video or anybody else's video with some unnecessary ass shit because it's just unnecessary if you don't have anything nice to say don't fucking say it okay don't do it it's rude and nobody gives a fuck okay anyway yeah like comment share subscribe let me know what else you want to see but yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoy i hope you laughed i hope you know this helped if you know the little personal questions was in here let me know bye